The lighting is less than desirable. My voice has gone inexplicably croaky. It's time for another vlog. Right, what we got for you today? Let's have a look at what I've been doing, because I actually have content for you this time, and not just showing you stuff out of boxes. So, you might have seen these before. These are little pots I made, and they are made out of a bead and another bead one glued atop the other and then glued to a base there's also cocktail sticks involved down the middle to uh, fix them to each other and the base doesn't look pleasant underneath and uh, right there's uh there's Lecky the elf for scale Oh god damn it, you Ah, uh, you blatant link knockoff. What are you doing to my pots? Huh? Huh? Okay, this is the uh, thing I actually want to show you was I have made broken versions of pots, little piles of shards. And these are made from the same beads, uh, but attack with some clippers. Tried smashing with a hammer. And uh, the results were beads flying across my flat and uh, narrowly missing Andy. So yeah, cut up with clippers and glued down to bases and painted. Nice little um, piles of pot shards. There we go. Intact pots, broken pots. And this way I can also scatter broken pots throughout the dungeon as um, sort of, uh, well... Dungeon dressings to dress the dungeon. Quite pleased how those came out. Uh, same painting technique stuff I mentioned before. Uh, these are painted with Citadel terracotta, highlighted with a mix of MP terracotta and Citadel cotta. Citadel cotta. I am unable to speak properly. Citadel terracotta. If I use all the syllables, I can make entire words. It's amazing. Uh, so, yeah, terracotta, mixed with terracotta, then highlighted with terracotta. That's how it works. I've also been putting those out of shot as I said that, and I've dropped one on the floor. And I can't find it. I don't know where it is, so I have to... Oh, nope, got it, got it. Meanwhile, you can stare at an empty space. Ooh. Right, actually, yep, other stuff to show you. Oh, the stuff to show you. So, the crystalline barrier spell effect. All nicely painted. In some emerald type green colour. One of the Citadel paints I used was Citadel Emerald Green. Uh, some of the other colours were MP Bottle Green and other greens I have since forgotten the lighting probably doing these no favor from what i can see uh i don't know i, th I think ah, i can never tell how well the lighting's going to be on these uh so you'll just have to put up with them as it is yeah these are made from chunks of sprue carved up to look like crystal glued down to a base and surrounded with green stuff Simple little bits. Crooky voice. Let's pause and cough. Yep, yeah, uh, voice slightly better now. We'll probably get worse as I talk. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's get like you back in for scale there. Ah, can't smash those, can you? <coughs> really? I know my videos are crap, but uh, this. Randomly croaky voice during when I want to film them. Not helpful. Yeah. Thanks whoever is to blame for that. I, I guess no one. Possibly me. I don't know. Yep, that's... That's that. That's how big it is. Can uh, 
put that at the back out of shot. Out of shot, no, just out of focus. Uh, what else can we uh, show you? Ah, this. This is the cauldron from the D and D official range uh, of WizKids official D and D range of pre-primed but otherwise unpainted miniatures. This is the which is den set I think this came from. Not quite finished painting this yet. So I need to get a bit of gloss on the viscous bubbling fluid in the top there. Pretty pleased with the. Uh, Bronze effect, which I was covering up my thumb then because I was holding it. Let's rotate it carefully like that. And as I rotate, my voice will get croakier and croakier. Just going to stop talking for a bit. See if that helps. Yep, bronze effect. Really like detail on these, the sort of uh, devil slash um, satyr faces. Nice really nice painted up. I used like three different bronzy colours, each uh, more shiny than the last to highlight this. Just to, just to really bring out the detail, get the effect in there. You could probably achieve something similar with washes, but I personally think this looks better because you get more depth to the shading. Oh, incidentally, yes, yeah, started out with uh, Citadel Tin Bits. On this, I often sort of do a base coat of tin bits under a lot of metal. Just really helps to put one metallic colour over another, especially if it's a darker one underneath. Yep, rather like this. Needs a bit of gloss and uh, possibly some ink on that. The lighting doing it no favours. That's how big it is compared to a Hero Quest Elf. And what is it? I think this is particularly bad lighting today, actually. Well, that's been about uh, oh, just over seven minutes now, according to the little clock in the corner of my screen, which I can see, but you can't see, because you're watching a video back afterwards. I will arrange these things. I like this. And let's put some of the Broken pots back in as well. There we go. Big hand across the lens there. That was good, wasn't it? So, yep, that's what I've done. I've got more stuff in the pipes, which I will uh, show you hopefully next video. The uh, assassin slash cultist slash plague doctor uh, miniatures I got from Raupatha Europe have been undercoated. You don't need to see what an undercoated miniature looks like. It looks the same but black. Unless you're undercoating in another colour. But I was undercoating black. I'm now basically padding time. So, if you like this, like. If you're not subscribed to this, subscribe. And there's a thing with a bell and other calls to action and so on and so forth. Yep, yeah, keep watching. Uh, you know, if you're a fan of miniatures or someone's voice going croaky at uh, inexplicable and inconvenient moments, keep watching. I can also do wobbly camera, as you just saw. Uh, yep. Padding, 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 padding. Goodbye.